So I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but whenever I'm in public and I'm in a crowded space and somebody happens to be wearing a fragrance, I always try to smell it in the air and try to guess what he or she is wearing. I've smelled a lot of One Millions. I've smelled a lot of Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I've smelled a lot of Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Well, these are 10 fragrances that are guaranteed to help you steal the show. If you're wearing these fragrances, you are going to leave everyone in the room perplexed in a positive way, of course. I'm excited to get on with this list, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's video and I tell you about these 10 fragrances that will steal the show, these are fragrances that do not smell like too many other fragrances out there. They possess a certain level of uniqueness and they are bold and charismatic and gregarious. I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. So when it comes to my personal fragrance selections, I do often opt for fragrances that are a little bit more on the charismatic, unique, original, and bold side of things. Oftentimes, I'm not too crazy about wearing fragrances that have been done and overdone or seem to be a rehash DNA of something that's kind of been passed around in the industry for decades and decades. Although I do have my classic which I do revert back to every now and again. I love Le Mans. I really do enjoy One Million by Paco Rabanne. I like a lot of these fragrances that have kind of, even on the more contemporary side of things, have withstood the test of time. And if you walk into an Ulta or a Macy's or a Nordstrom, you're still gonna see Le Mans. You're still gonna see One Million. But these are fragrances that are super unique. You're not gonna find anybody else in the room who smells like this. And the first one that I wanna start things off with is one that I discovered towards the tail end of last year and this one by Naso di Raza is called Ravi. This is an amazing, amazing, leathery, boozy, spicy, bold, ambery fragrance composed by Cecile Zorokian. I think there's actually two fragrances on this list that were composed by her. <laughs> yeah, there are. But in any case, this fragrance is amazing. Super bold, powerhouse. You walk into a room, people are going to smell you and they're going to say, what is that? right? In a positive way, of course, none of these fragrances are, you know, offensive in any way. Although a lot of them are going to be on the more daring side of things, and this is certainly one of them, but I do want you to know that these fragrances are very potent. So if you are wearing them, chances are you're going to get noticed immediately, right? There's no kind of disguising or hiding these fragrances. They will announce your presence in a positive way, of course, and this is one of them. The next one, also on the dark, bold, spotlight stealing, side of things. This one is one that I personally worked on by Navitus Parfum and this one is called Emblaze. Now this one was composed by Lucas Suzak and Olaf Larsen. This fragrance is pepper and labdanum and resins and you have this coffee ingredient in there. It's so dark but it's so amazingly delicious in the dry down with the sweet resins but that opening can be a little smoky. It can be a little challenging I suppose but you give this one 10, 20 minutes to dry down, it is absolutely heavenly. And Blaze is one of my favorite fragrances that I've worked on along with Imperial and Ray Spirits. And there's a very special place in my heart for this particular fragrance. Of course, we also have this next showstopper by Zerzhov. This is called Naxos. Naxos is one of the most beautiful tobacco-based fragrances you'll ever try. Kind of like this honey tobacco combination. It has, I don't have the ingredients, ingredients listed on the back. I usually do when it's a tester and I thought I may have, but um, it's kind of like this niche version of Pure Havan by Thierry Mugler and it's beautifully done. I love wearing this one. And although you might find that other people are wearing tobacco based fragrances, the way that this one is done is so exceptionally good. I can't sing enough praise about it. If you're a fan of some of the sweeter fragrances out there, there's also Tonka Imperial by Guerlain, one of the most beautiful tonka bean fragrances that kind of has like an almondy vibe. Of course, there's another tonka bean fragrance that I love by Christian Dior from the Maison Dior collection called Feb Delicious. That one is kind of creamy and powdery and 
on the sweet side as well. But this one here kind of has that almondy vibe to it. It's, it's syrupy, it has the tonka, and I've been wearing this one for a long time, as you can tell, and the liquid has gotten so dark on account of that vanilla, I suppose. Beautifully done. I would also recommend another dark powerhouse fragrance to help you steal the show or even put a stop to the show. <laughs> this one by Parfum de Marly is called Haltane. Now the earthy tendencies, the spiciness, a little bit of saffron in there as well. It's dark, it's leathery, it's exotic, it's earthy, it's exquisite. Wizard. And this one is kind of like Oud for Greatness by Inicio Parfum, but with more earth. If you can imagine that, I think it's beautifully well done. Now the next one, I gotta be honest, this one is gonna be a familiar aroma, but I guarantee you there are not too many people wearing this fragrance today. By Thierry Mugler, this is Angel for Men. Even though it came out in the mid 90s, Jacques Houclier is the perfumer. There's something really special about this one, the caramel, the patchouli, that tar note that everybody talks about. What a beautiful fragrance. I feel like a lot of people are kind of making the switch to fresh fragrances and citrusy aquatic fragrances, or occasionally there are a lot of sweet fragrances out there. And even when it comes to the whole tonka bean genre, I didn't recommend something like Azaro Wanted for this list. A lot of people are gonna be wearing that. One Million by Paco Rabanne. A lot of people are gonna be wearing that Invictus by Paco Rabanne or even Phantom. A lot of people are gonna be wearing those. So even when it came to the tonka bean genre, that's why I was more inclined to recommend something like Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. A lot of websites where you can get decants. I trust Sensplit. All of the links are gonna be down below if you're interested. Of course, we also have another powerhouse. This one by Tom Ford is Ombre Leather. Now this is the Eau de Toilette. They do have the Parfum version. Both of them are just as great. The Parfum version has some starchy white florals in there. This one is more about that dry exotic leather. And I'm telling you, even when it comes to Tom Ford, you're going to find some people wearing Noir by Tom Ford or even some of the lighter fragrances. I feel like there's still a lot of love for Neroli Portofino, but this fragrance, Ombre Leather, is amazing. You're not going to smell like anybody else when you wear this one. I also want to highly, highly, highly recommend Mr. Pink by Blackcliff. This one has some butyric notes, which means buttery notes. It has a bit of sweetness in there. There's almost like this cotton candy appeal to it. Almost imagine like a really dark, less sweet, more complex Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Crocja. Totally different from Baccarat Rouge. That is the loosest comparison that I could make just to kind of put you in the mindset of almost what to expect, but this one goes in such a different direction. By nowhere, and no means, is it an inspiration or a clone or, you know, reductive in any way of that. Of course, we also have an amazing recent release by Givenchy. Givenchy Gentlemen Reserve Purvey. The sweetness, the iris, the boozy qualities, this is absolutely divine. And it's kind of reminiscent of like, Dior Homme Intense by Christian Dior, but this fragrance does it a little, well, the iris is a little more prominent. It's a little starchier. I feel like the sweetness kind of doesn't steal the spotlight in the way that it does in Christian Dior's Dior Homme Intense. This one is a little bit spicier, so, but certainly it's going to stop the show, right? When everybody else is wearing, you know, the same, pardon me for using this phrase, but the same run-of-the-mill fragrances, this one is going to help you stand out. And the fragrance that I decided to put in the number one spot is dark, it's spicy, it's a little boozy, it has tobacco, there's some resins and amber in the dry down, the complexity is fantastic with this one. And this one is the other fragrance composed by Cecile Zarocchi and she also did Ravi by Naso di Raza. This one by Amouage is called Royal Tobacco Opus 14 from the library collection. When I say this fragrance is absolutely amazing, it's absolutely amazing. It's won several awards. It's received tons of praise. I sang really high praise about it. Cecile Zarokian is one of the best perfumers of our time. And this fragrance with that spicy complexity and the cardamom and the, the tobacco, the amber, the resins, the woods, it is so densely populated and it is so imperial and regal smelling. And you walk into the room wearing royal tobacco, everybody is going to turn their heads and look at you no matter how far they are from you in that room. This is such a powerful
powerful fragrance, so you need to be super careful with the atomizer. You do more than three or four sprays, you're gonna drown yourself. In any case, 10 fragrances, I think I counted correctly, yeah. 10 fragrances that are sure to steal the spotlight and put a stop to any show that might be happening so that people can acknowledge you and look in your direction. These are not your everyday, typical, run-of-the-mill fragrances. Probably the most recognized one on this list is Angel for Men by Thierry Mugler, but even that still does things in such a quirky and unique way even today. Thank you for watching. Drop your suggestions and your comments down below. What is a fragrance that you personally wear when you want to be the showstopper when you want to turn on all of the lights and the high beams and everything is pointed on you you want to be kind of the center of attention if you will leave your comments down below thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up love you guys we'll see you tomorrow bye